Hey y'all, welcome. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the difference between a diet and a protocol. So in general, a diet is something that someone else develops that we um, follow pretty much against our will for a short period of time because we have to. A protocol is a plan that we develop for ourselves that supports us in hitting our goals, not just with how we look, but long-term with our nutrition, with our mental health, with how we feel. And the same is true for exercise, right? Think about the difference between an exercise plan that a trainer develops for you based on how they like to work out and the exercises they think are fun and effective, um, usually without your consent. They usually hand it to you already fully developed. Maybe they're thinking about their goals, but they're not necessarily thinking about what you're actually going to be willing to do. Um, it's usually a little too realistic versus a protocol that you develop for yourself that's realistic and that you can always fall back on and that you start with the intention to do it for life. And I'll give you some examples. So let's say I have, um, and I do, my exercise protocol is Monday through Thursday, I drive down to downtown Stewart. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do yoga, but whether or not I do yoga before, I meet my husband after his work and we go for a walk downtown Stewart. It's usually about 30, 45 minutes. We catch up on the day. And that's kind of our protocol. We do it because we enjoy it. It's helping us. And it's the kind of thing, you know, we could be 80 years old. And if we're still living in this area, we could still be doing that. It's not something that was imposed on us or that we're doing short term because we want to look a certain way. It's something we're doing long term that we enjoy. Um, if you think about with food, oh, also on the exercise, I'm trying to build in Sundays, going on walks to the beach. And the great thing about a protocol like that is if something knocks me off track, it's no big deal. I just go back to the default. So if there's a networking group that I want to attend on a Wednesday night that conflicts, I can go. But then the following Wednesday, it's not like, oh God, I'm all messed up. I just go back to my default, back to my protocol. And it's the same with food. I have certain things that I like to have for lunch. My go-to is a salad. Doesn't mean I have to eat a salad every day, but that's just what the default is. That's what I do kind of mindlessly without thinking. And that plan, that structure means that the default is gonna improve my physical health. I'm gonna feel better and it's gonna support me in my health goals. So start developing a protocol for yourself, whether it's for exercise or for diet, something that's realistic and that feels